Hi, this is Erin from Bridgeville in Sofka Township Libraries. Today on A Dash of Spice, we are going to take a look at ginger. Ginger has a very long and rich history. It actually dates back to ancient times, to India and China, there are records of its use. And throughout its history, it's been used as a spice, a food, and a medicine. It comes in two formats generally, ground and fresh, and it has sort of a warm biting flavor with a hint of sweetness. The ground format is usually used for baking, while fresh is generally used for cooking. Today we're going to use some ground ginger to make ginger snaps. Let's see what we'll need for this recipe. Today's recipe is fairly straightforward. In this bowl, I have my dry ingredients, and then in another bowl, I will put my wet ingredients, which will be my butter, sugar, egg, and molasses, and I'll mix those separately. And then I will take my dry ingredients and put those in and combine them with the wet ingredients. So here I have, so far, my flour, my baking soda, and my cinnamon and now all that's left is to add my ginger in there so i'll dump that in right now and then i'm just going to take my wooden spoon and give those a stir to make sure they're nice and combined and then i can move on to mixing together my wet ingredients so i'll do that and be back here i have my bowl with my wet ingredients in it so already inside i have my molasses my egg and my sugar. So I'm just going to finish it out by adding my butter in. And then I will take my electric mixer and just mix all of this up until it's nice and combined. And then once that happens, I will slowly add in my dry ingredients to create a dough. And from there, I will move on to getting it ready to go in the oven. So I'll check back in. So I have my dough made. I've combined my wet and dry ingredients here. Now I'm ready to start putting them on my tray. So I'm going to just grab about a teaspoonful of dough and I'll roll that into a ball. And then I'm going to just give it a quick dunk in some sugar. And it should look like that. And then I'll put it on my tray. So I'll just keep doing that. Just a teaspoonful of dough, make it into a ball, quick dunk in sugar until I fill up my tray. And my oven, I want to heat it to 375 degrees. And I'll bake my cookies for 13 to 15 minutes, just until they are brown around the edges. And then they're done. So thank you for tuning in have a wonderful day.